how to use the revisionary plugin and press permit to control which published posts contributors can submit changes for, even though they cannot edit the published post directly. To do this, you'll need the press permit core plugin and also the PP Collaborative Editing Pack plugin, which is part of the Press Permit Pro package. I've also left the PP Custom Post Statuses plugin enabled for consistency with previous videos. Previously on our sample library site, the high school students permission group was given a supplemental role of local news contributor. Using custom post statuses and associated supplemental editing roles, this submitted news was taken through a multi-step moderation sequence. Of the two news leads that this student pitched to his editor, one was deferred for future consideration and the other was assigned and eventually published. If we log in as that user, you'll see that he no longer has access to either of those posts. Since this news contributor's posts have all been deferred or published, he can no longer see them in the WordPress backend. The library management has decided that news contributors should be allowed to submit changes to their published news. Those changes will be reviewed by an editor prior to publication. That's where Revisionary comes in. Let's log in as an admin and activate it. Later on, I'll demonstrate how Press Permit can customize which posts can be revised and who is involved in the approval process. But for now, you can see that even without adjusting Press Permit or Revisionary settings, activation of the Revisionary plugin has caused this local news contributor's published news to be included in the backend listing. Now let's click to edit this news. The post title and content are editable. You can see that the Publish meta box has been reduced to a Submit Revision button. This user also has the ability to request the changes to be published on a particular date. In this case, let's just submit the revision. Instead of being published immediately, the requested changes have been saved to a pending revision. This is visible alongside the currently published revision in the local news listing. By default, all users who can edit the published post can also review and approve requested changes. Now let's log in as a library manager. Since this user has the ability to publish local news, pending revisions of that published news are also indicated on this user's dashboard. Clicking to edit the pending revision, the Revisions Manager screen allows revisions to be compared, deleted, changed to a different publishing date, edited, or published immediately. Now let's look at Revisionary and Press Permit settings which can adjust how this revision submission and approval process works. We noted that when Revisionary is activated, contributors are automatically enabled to submit revisions to their published posts. Revisionary also creates a new WordPress role definition called Reviser. You'll notice this when adding a new user. In the role dropdown, Reviser is now available. Giving a user a site-wide role of Reviser enables them to submit revisions to any user's published post for any post type that uses the standard WordPress API. If you would rather assign the reviser capabilities for a specific post type, Press Permit Core makes that possible. For example, even though the library staff cannot publish local news, we can give them the ability to submit revisions to local news using the Add Supplemental Roles tab. Select the local news post type and the reviser role. If the Reviser role is not available in this role dropdown, check your role usage settings and make sure the Reviser role has not been disabled. 
it should be set to a role usage of pattern role. Now that we've selected the post type and role, click the add role button and save. Local News Revisor is now listed as one of this group's supplemental roles. But maybe there are certain categories of local news which this library staff should be prevented from submitting revisions for. In that case, you can set exceptions. Click the Add Exceptions tab, select the post type of local news, and the post operation of Revise. The Also These adjustment would apply for a group or user which does not already have revising capabilities for the post type. In this case, the adjustments which would be meaningful are Not These or Only These. I'll choose Not These, and then select News Categories for which this group should be prevented from submitting revisions. Now, library staff can submit revisions for published local news, but not for Tice's story about the fundraising hike, because one of its news categories is Lifestyle. Now, let's look at the revisionary settings to discuss another way that Press Permit lets you regulate changes to published content. One of the settings on the Revisionary Options screen is for email notification. Normally, when a pending revision is submitted, users eligible to receive email notification are those with a WordPress role of administrator or editor. You can customize that notification list by clicking the Select Recipients link and then editing the members of the Pending Revision Monitors group. Members of this group can receive notification of pending revisions, but only if they are able to publish the post in question. In this case, I'm going to select Claire, who is a library administrator, and Aretha, who is a library manager. Rob is a library staff member and does not currently have the ability to publish any local news. But since there are plans to give him full editing access to certain news categories in the future, I'll go ahead and add him to this revision monitors list. He won't receive notification for any posts that he cannot publish. Before submitting another pending revision, I'd like to take a look at the users list to show you that there are actually two library administrators, but only one of them is in the Pending Revision Monitors group. Now let's log in as Tice, the high school student, and see how these settings affect his editing form. One of the library administrators, KB, will not receive notification even though he is able to publish the post. That's because he's not a member of the Pending Revision Monitors group. On the other hand, Rob is a member of the Monitors group, but he's not able to publish the post, so he won't receive notification either. The video on Edit Flow and Custom Post Statuses demonstrates how Press Permit worked in conjunction with the Edit Flow plugin to walk this news through a multi-step moderation process which is highly customizable and access controlled. In this video, we've seen how activation of the revisionary plugin enables the original news contributor to submit changes to the published news. We've also seen how Press Permit can be used to enable a user or group of users to submit revisions for all published posts of a certain type, and how that access can be limited by category. Many other configurations are possible, but I hope these videos have clarified how Press Permit, Edit Flow, and Revisionary can be used to greatly enhance your editorial workflow possibilities.